In today's episode, we are going to show you how to make a personalized hammer for Father's Day so that you can nail it. Now this personalized hammer that we're going to show you how to make, you can use for your dad, for your grandfather, for your husband as an anniversary gift, a Christmas gift, a birthday gift, a housewarming gift. Well, baby, let's get right to it and show them how to create that personalized hammer so that they can nail the gift this year. And by the way, it's not only for men. It can be a personalized hammer for women, too. This is Baby. And this is da 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 And we are the Hard Head Bells. So now for this very easy gift, all you need is a hammer with a wooden handle, some sandpaper, fine grit, then paper towel, markers, Mod Podge, and your jute. Oh, and the foam brush to apply the Mod Podge. Next, you will want to sand the clear coat on the hammer. Most hammers have this clear coat on them that will need to be removed. Don't fly the handle just because you can't help me with this project. Well, Peony, you can help VB sand. step with a damp paper towel you are going to wipe off that sanded wooden handle and then you want to make sure it's really dried well and it's clean for the next step now you will write your saying on the area of the hammer BB is such a control freak that she actually wrote it out several times to make sure she had the spacing correct. For this, you will use the permanent markers. Next, Danine will brush some Mod Podge over the written part of the handle. And you want to make sure you dry it for about 15 to 20 minutes before doing the next step, which is applying another coat. Tie a bow around the hammer for your gift. Then you are ready to give this as a Father's Day gift that will surely have nailed it. <laughs> Well, if you liked this episode on the Father's Day personalized hammer that we made, you made, we made, please check out our other projects on Pinterest. Talking about fathers reminds me of Psalm 68.5, where it states that God is a father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy habitation. You know, if you want to find out more about that father, you can check out our Inspiring Hope page on our blog site, theheartedbells.com. Make a, do us a favor and subscribe. 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 Give me that, I need it. <laughs>